Hello everyone, in today's video I'll teach you how you can create and export a number line like this one in Desmos. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. Okay, so if we want a number line from Desmos, this is the default screen with Desmos. Really what we want to do is get rid of the Y axis here. So we click on the wrench in the top right corner we have, we can get rid of the grid. So I just click this, that is already better. And let's get rid of the Y axis. So I click on the Y axis and now we're left with a number line because really each axis is a number line. That's really what it is. It's a one dimensional variable that changes and we can make it a bit nicer. We can put some arrows. If we just want arrows going one way, then we click this one, but usually it's both ways because we can go in the negatives and the positives. And we, we could name this number line. So for example, if I want it to be called number line, I could write number line. Uh, I won't personally, uh, unless you might want to do that. I'll just change the Y axis to negative one and one. This won't make much of a difference. To be honest, so we could do negative 10 to 10, that works fine. If we do 0 to 10, you can see that the steps adjust automatically before they were 1, and now they're 0 0.5. So again, depending on what you want here, let's say I want 0 to 10 and steps of 1, then we could do this. And you could do zoom square, That, that may, sometimes that makes a difference, and you could click the A where you see that the numbers are bigger here. If you had in degrees and radians with pies, for example, for a sine graph, that's where it would make a difference. So that's it really, right? Well, what we can do is now we can save this graph. So I click on the untitled graph in the top right corner. Now I can type number line. I already created one. That's why it's already there. I'll overwrite it. And now we could export this. So I click on the share. If you want to share this Desmos link with your fellow teachers. And I, I'm just noticing now that by doing the zoom squared, we got rid of the 10. So let's go back to 10. That looks a lot better. Let's hit save. So if we go back to the share, you could send them a link by clicking this. You could also export the image. That's probably what we want to be doing here. You have now you have different options. Medium square seems to be a good de default here. You can adjust the line thickness. I personally like the medium the most. Thick is a little bit too crammed in the numbers. Medium seems better. You can just click download. There's different types of downloads. So if you download as a PNG, then and you click, you should see it appear. Now you could put this into Word and whatnot to make your worksheets. And by the way, there's a bunch of number line worksheets online. So don't worry. And just look what happens if you pick the other options. So for example, uh, medium rectangle, then it's negative two to 12 and so on. And there's other advanced options that you can look into. If you like this video, make sure to check out the other Desmos videos as you probably will enjoy them. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that currently is to like this video, hit the subscribe button, but really it's to share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with Do The Work.